folks. This is going to be a, a series of videos that I plan to do at the end of 2019 and at the beginning of 2020 about specific um, things that I get asked on a regular basis around building a course and building a course using WordPress specifically. And one of the most fundamental questions I get asked about is performance problems around using WordPress for a learning management system with a high level of membership. Um, and the number one reason for bad performance around using WordPress with a couple of the leading learning management plugins like Lifter LMS or LearnDash is poor hosting. It is the number one pain that me and my team have to deal with on a regular basis almost every week. Fundamentally, a lot of people are being sold inferior hosting packages at totally unrealistic pricing levels. And what I mean by that is your traditional um, shared hosting plan that is marketed to you for three ninety nine a month or for eight ninety nine or for nine dollars ninety nine per month will not cope with a membership learning management system with any kind of level of membership i e any kind of level of membership that equals success in actually building a course and all the time and effort spent doing that it will only work when literally you have you have hardly any members taking the courses or course fundamentally bad hosting will cripple your wordpress powered website now why is this well first of all um in the show notes there's going to be a detailed um post that i've just recently done that really goes into depth about some of the major things that can affect um your membership learning management system through bad hosting and one of them um, is that a lot of the cheaper plans there on what is called share hosting, um, where basically they have a server and they literally cram as many websites. We're not talking about tens of thousands. We can be talking about 100,000 plus websites on a server. And that's fine when they're just little websites. But if one of those little websites get hacked or has a problem that can infect all the websites on that server now with modern server technology it's called cloud-based servers where they are they're virtual servers they don't actually exist in the normal racks racks of servers that you see in tv shows about hacking and they get into the data center they, they still have data centers but fundamentally your data is distributed over the cloud over virtual servers and the two the the, the three main it major players in distributed cloud server computing is amazon microsoft and Google. Now you should be looking for a specialized WordPress hosting provider that utilizes cloud hosting, in my opinion. It doesn't always apply, but for 95%, I would say this is the best solution. And you need a company that understands WordPress. Um, 
the other thing is you need a modern version them to be able to be running modern versions versions of php the reason i say that is that having like running it on 7.2, 7.3, which are some of the latest versions of PHP, these ver latest versions have been optimized for speed. And basically, WordPress is built on PHP to high level. That will change to JavaScript over the coming years. But for the present and for the foreseeable future, it's built on PHP. Object caching is another thing. One of the techniques that these cheaper hosting providers utilize is very strong caching mechanisms where they literally have a copy of your page and they know that these pages don't change that often. So they have a copy which can then be shown if requested much more quickly, more quickly than if the query is sent to the WordPress database. Unfortunately, we've learned the, the way membership sites work and learning management systems, quite a few of your key pages cannot be cached. This is one of the main reasons why if you use one of these cheaper hosting providers, it will turn your website experience into sticky treacle, basically. It will be an awful experience for your users, and it's going to be an awful experience for you. The other thing is the theme that you choose, and page builders to some extent Themes are not developed equally. Um, we are a big fan in WP Tonic of the Astra theme and the number of child themes that are built upon the Astra framework. Astra, the company, are based in India, but they have many years' experience in building plugins, themes, and WordPress in general. It's quite a large team. I think they've got over 100 employees. I personally know the owner of the business. He's been on my podcast. He seems a great guy. And they know what they're doing, fundamentally. And they've also built a number of specific um, elements which can be found in the customizer that are specifically designed for Learn Dash and for Lifter LMS. And that work. WP Tonic in the next year we're going to be developing some Pacific themes built upon Astra with even more focus functionality um, for the learning management course builder. So built choosing the right theme is really important and I think going with Astra is a great idea. The other factor is plugins. Now um, people say you shouldn't install a large number. I partially agree with that and disagree with that because it's really the quality of the code. Basically, that's what plugins are. They're little libraries of code that have been developed and then wrapped in what WordPress calls a plugin, which can be injected into WordPress to add additional functionality but it's all code. Now, the thing with this is you've got to be fussy where you get your plugins from, and you've got to know something about identifying dicey plugins and plugins that come from a reputable source. Now, WordPress is an open source project. The plugin, you know, to get into the WordPress um, directory of plugins you have to meet certain requirements and they're checked over and the teams involved in that checking really do their best then you've got premier plugins um, that can be hosted you can buy direct from the plugin developer now you've got to do some research about 
and any really major key plugin where you're relying on real which is essential to the running of your business online i would suggest that you really got to go for a commercial plugin now that doesn't mean i'm excluding all free plugins but what i'm saying is you know um that makes the developer more proactive in keeping the plugin up to date it's a business for them as well you know it's their livelihood on where a free plugin you can get tremendous this people that are, it's a real hobby and they've got enough of form of income and they're doing this to help the community and they can be just as reliable as the commercial plugins the problem is that um, a lot of people get burnt out. They no longer support it. Or they just don't have the time and resources to do it. So be wary and be fussy about where you get your plugins. The more plugins that you install, the more chance that some of those plugins are not coded very well. And you only need one badly coded plugin and it can really have a dramatic effect on the speed and functionality of your website the other thing is the way that the wordpress database works and the way learning management systems work is that you can have make them more like an application than a traditional website and why this is a factor that can slow down, especially if you're on really poor hosting, is that you can have multiple users, multiple people logging into your website at the same time doing similar things. That is fundamentally different to the traditional website model where they're just viewing pages, viewing pages that can be cached these people are actually logged in and doing something. They're, they're interacting with your course, ID, taking a quiz, downloading a PDF, a number of things. But they're interactive with the website. That's much more demanding to the hosting than a traditional website. And that's another factor where you, if you start getting 20, 30, 40 plus people logging in at the same time you dramatically need better hosting there are a number of other factors which is in my article well, like i can say you will find the details in the, the video show notes that i've written for this video that will delve into a lot more detail but what i want to emphasize at the end of this quick video is be aware that there are consequences, dramatic consequences, to the way that your experience of WordPress, your students' experience of your course, is going to be dramatically affected by bad hosting, by cheap hosting. A lot of people say to me, well, I look at Kajabi, I look at other hosted SaaS um systems and they you know they take all the hassle away from me um they'll be more secure and the, you know they just seem quicker they're not um it, this is fog and mirrors wordpress has a thousands and thousands of eyes every day looking at the code making sure it's secure the main bad the main reason why in some quarters WordPress gets a bad rap is bad hosting. I must have said it about 18 times in this video, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry to stress this, but I just I just wanted to get across to you that if you want the best experience for your lear, for building your learning management system with and all the freedom and flexibility of true ownership that WordPress gives, you're going to have a much better experience if you're realistic about the cost of your hosting. And be truthful, if your hosting is costing you less than your normal monthly Starbucks bill, you've got a bit of a problem in my mind. 
like I say, we're gonna be, I'm going to be doing more videos about key subjects around utilizing WordPress with learning management system. I'm going to be doing a host of reviews on the leading um, plugins, um, marketing automation linked to learning management system. I'm going to be probably knocking out about two to uh, one or two videos a week around Pacific subject plus the podcast. Um, I, I do a regular podcast um, interview plus a round table and you can view that on the WP Tonic website. See you soon, folks. Bye.